All right, people. I never do gear reviews, um, mainly because I'm lazy. Uh, and I appreciate all the people that do. So if this should be of service to somebody, then great. Uh, I've been doing karaoke with the GTD mics for quite some time down here on the lower shelf. Uh, there have been a lot of back and forth. I had posted recently I was wanting to step up my game, but I'm not wanting to use my really high-end mics because people drop them. And uh, yes, they're only 30, 40 bucks to replace, but it's still a pain in the ass. And uh, so anyway, I went ahead and bought the Phoenix Pro, as you can see here. And so I'm just going to do a side by side comparison there. I'm not going to cover all the features, uh, but I will say right off the bat, I really like the display. It looks more professional. And uh, yeah, I just don't love the green. I also like the output meter a lot more. It's easier. There's also individual volume knobs on the actual receiver right here, which are real quick and easy. As a lot of people pointed out, I'm going to switch mics now and see if you can tell which ones I'm using. Well, you'll know because I'm holding this one. Um, they are definitely heavier and sturdier. They feel like they could take a drop a lot better, the Phoenix Pros, uh, than the GTDs. Um, yeah, and uh, they look they look more like Shure mics. The GTD is definitely this feel. It looks a little cheap for me. It it doesn't really matter because the karaoke gigs I'm doing is like nobody cares, right? But uh, anyway, the um, a couple other things oddly though that um, <clears throat> with the GTD, if somebody accidentally hits mute, it turns red, and that's a lot easier for me to see uh, if suddenly someone says the mic doesn't work. And I can look, and I'm like, oh, because you, you hit mute. However, the buttons are harder to push. Conversely, on the Phoenix Pro, if you hit mute, there is a little indicator up there, but it's a little bit harder to see. I will say, though, that the, the button is recessed. So I feel like when you're gripping the mic, hopefully it would be harder for people to accidentally mute it. Um, but yet it's easier to push. So again, overall, as everyone has already commented on, on the board, they're, they definitely feel more solid. I'm not sure how much that matters for a singer. But now I'm just going to do a voice test, and you can determine if you hear a difference. I'm running to a Behringer 1204 uh, multi-mixer, and both lines, I'm just going to confirm, are even and no effects, and the EQs are all set to 12 o'clock. All right, this is the GTD testing one, two. Hey, hey, one, two, one, two. Hey, hey. This is the Phoenix Pro testing, everybody. One, two. Hey, hey, one, two. Back to the GTD. I can't sing, but. Ah. Now back to the Phoenix. Once again, apologies in advance. Ah. The only difference I hear is the, I'm on the Phoenix Pro now, it feels like it has a little bit more bass. It feels like it has a little bit more l like rich, full sound, but it's very slight. And, uh, and now I'm back to the GTD. So GTD, one, two, three, four, hey, hey, one, two, three, four, back to the Phoenix. One, two, three, four, hey, hey, one, two, three, four. For me in summation, it's, it's almost a lateral move, except the receiver and the mics look a lot more pro. You have individual volume controls, but I don't know why you'd need those because you have them on a multi-mixer. Um, but they, they are heavier, and they feel more durable. So I'm going to – I own two sets of the GTD. So I'm going to keep one set. I'm going to put these uh, up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to keep the Phoenix Pro and make this my primary uh, because I do I do feel like overall it has slightly better sound. That's it for me. Hope this video helps somebody. All right. Rock on, DJs.